Where humans came from and our evolution is a subject that's fascinating. One thing people have questioned is why some humans have webbed hands and feet. This has led to some interesting theories. Some studies have shown that webbed hands and wrinkled fingers help to grip things underwater. This could mean that at one point in time hominids were very comfortable around water. There are those that believe in the aquatic ape theory. This is the idea that humans did venture into the oceans millions of years ago. Some theorists have put forward the idea as one of the reasons why we're so different from other species of apes. It's believed we got bipedalism by venturing into the water. Some species of monkeys show this trait while crossing shallow rivers. It allows them to keep their head above the water and also look out for predators. Humans have hairless skin when compared to other apes. We have it on our head to protect us from the sun. Meanwhile primates such as baboons and other monkeys which live on the savannah have neither lost their hair nor developed an upright posture. This is why some people have put forward this theory. Where did we learn all of this? And why are we so like but at the same time so different from other apes? Our brains greatly expanded at one point, and it's thought this was promoted by the protein-rich fish diet. We have a hooded nose, and this helps prevent water from entering the nostrils. This theory leads us onto another theory, and that is did mermaids once exist in our oceans? A mermaid is a legendary aquatic creature that has the head and upper body of a human, and the tail of a fish. Today there is no solid proof that these creatures existed, but reports of mermaid sightings continue to the present day. One place where alleged mermaids are seen is the Israeli town of Kiryayam. Over the years its residents have said that a mermaid-like creature can be seen during sunsets. It's been described as looking like a female and its lower half looks similar to a dolphin. The town has encouraged the stories, and the local council has even offered a cash prize of $1 million to anyone who can get photographic evidence of the aquatic humanoid. However, no concrete evidence has been put forward. Regarding the aquatic ape theory, very little research has been made and many specialists discredit it. One thing that scientists have said though is that we could have webbed feet in the future. This is because our planet is mostly water, and if sea levels keep rising we would have to adapt. So what do you guys make of this theory? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.